today, we're going to get ourselves warmed up. So we have 10 jumping jacks. Whether it's high impact or low impact jacks. Then we're going to go into 10 front lunges. Keep the lunge nice and small. You just want to get hips, knees, ankles warmed up, ready to rock and roll. So don't worry about getting super deep into the lunge. Once you have done 10, so five left, five right, we're going to do some leg swings, front and back. If you need to hold on to something for balance, find a wall, find a chair, whatever is close by. Just swing the leg, front and back. Find a focal point for those eyes. That will help with the balance. Keep that core nice and tight. Just swing arms, opposite leg. Giving that hip a little bit more warmed up, ready to rock and roll. 10 on each side. And once you have done your 10, come down on the floor. And we're going to go into your high plank position. So we're on our hands, we're on our toes. We're going to go into a spider climb. So we'll take one foot. We're going to step it nice and wide to the same hand. And then take that hand, open up towards the ceiling. Set that foot back. Same thing on the other side. I need your eyes to follow the hand up to the ceiling. Really getting into that hip, chest, and shoulder stretch. Five on each side to make 10. And once you have done your 10, stay down in your high plank or push up position. And we're going to finish with either 10 plank toe taps or 10 plank jacks. You can choose if you want to jump the feet or tap the toes out to the side. 10 total with those jacks, and then we are going to rock and roll. Awesome. Good. Woo, so here's the deal today. We are going to do each move for four rounds. Some moves have a left and a right. Some moves have actually two of them. So, for example, in the very kind of first little grouping, we're going to do 30 seconds worth of push-ups on the floor. Knees, toes, or elevate the hands. Then, I want you to roll it over. We're going to need one dumbbell or two, depending on how heavy you want to go. And we're going to do a small pressure for overhead tricep, um, overhead tricep extension on the floor from the back. So one push-up, roll it over, triceps, push-ups again, triceps again, and then we actually stay down for a sit-up Russian twist combo. So our first three moves are all on the floor. So grab whatever weight you need for those three moves so that they're close by, ready to rock and roll. So like I said, push-ups are first. Then we have the triceps. Then we're gonna do that sit-up combination. All right, push-ups first, my friends. 30 seconds on the floor. Here we go. So hands a little wider than those shoulders. Drop that chest straight down. Abs are nice and tight. Back nice and flat. So I don't want your butt left up in the air. I don't want you doing the wave. Even if you're on your knees, try not to leave your hips up. Push them down. Keep them nice and square to the floor. We got five, five seconds. Get ready to roll it over. Grab your one dumbbell or two, whatever you're using for those triceps. Knees are bent, feet flat on the floor. Hands are up. Drop that weight behind the head and then punch the ceiling. Keeping your back into the mat, so we're keeping your abs nice and engaged. You can have one dumbbell between the two hands or you can have a dumbbell in each hand, bringing the weight behind the head. All depends on how heavy you want to go. We got five seconds, guys. Get ready to flip it back over one more time with those push ups. Good. Flip. Flip, flip. We're going to do each one of those moves one more time. Drop that chest. See if you can do one or two reps from the toes. And then drop to the knees if you need to. Always challenge yourself at the beginning. And then just make it easier as you go so that you can finish off those 30 seconds. 
position. Eyes on the floor. Shoulders down and back. We got 15 seconds, guys. One round left. Last 10, come on. And five, four, three, two. Good, shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out one more time, guys. And then we're gonna go into an overhead shoulder pass. All right, soften those knees again. Push the butt back. Draw that belly button up into the spine. Keep those shoulders down and back. Drive the elbows up and back. Good. Hold for a second at the top if you need to feel that mid back and track a little bit better. Come on, we've only got 10 seconds left, guys. You can keep the same dumbbells, go heavier, go lighter. But we have overhead shoulder presses next. Good. And we're going to keep it neutral. So I want your palms still to face each other as we press all the way overhead and come back to the shoulders. All right, dumbbells up. Here we go. All the way up, all the way down. Getting those biceps to ears for me. Keeping your core nice and tight. Watch you don't arch the back to lift the weights overhead. If you need to add a push press, by all means, or you can alternate. It's another way to make it a little bit easier. Come on, five more seconds. There it is, take note. We got the same thing guys, three more times. You can keep your feet side by side or stagger. Whatever, whatever allows you to keep this nice, tall, strong posture. You got it. Add that push press if you need to. Alternate if you need to. Lots of options guys to keep you moving through these 30 seconds. You guys know the rules, we just don't stop. You can slow it down, you can modify, but we just keep going. Five seconds left, come on. Woo! Shake it out, two down, two to go. You got it, guys. We're gonna hit the core up next, just to let you know. Here we go, round three. Lights up to ears. Add that push press if you need to. Alternate. If you need to take an extra pause at the bottom, then do another rep. Do it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. My shoulders are burning just like yours. We got 10 seconds. One round left. And then we hit the deck. We're going to go into some abdominal dead bugs. So with the dead bugs, which are coming up after one more round of the shoulders, if you want to add dumbbells in your hands, you can. All right, last one. Here we go. So dumbbells will be optional with the dead bug, but we're gonna do all one side, then the other. So we're not gonna alternate arms and legs. So you're gonna need to pick a side left or right, stay with it, and then we get to switch. Come on, five seconds guys, let's go, let's go, let's go, get ready to hit the deck in four, three, two. Oh, shoulders are burning. All right, so I need both knees off the floor up, and I need both hands up. Put a weight in one hand if you'd like. We're gonna move arm to opposite leg, and then pull it back. Keeping that back push down into the mat. So we're locking that core into place. You can always start with the dumbbell. Drop it in its body weight if you need to. You got it, guys. Nice. All right, switching hands. Switching hands. Keeping that back push down. With or without weight. Arms opposite leg. Walk that core in place. Don't let the back arch as the leg extends and the arm comes behind the head. 
Nice work, guys. Two down, two to go. And then we're actually gonna stay down on the mat. There we go. We're back to that first side. Got it. Now, our next move is down on the floor and we will need two dumbbells. So if you do not have two dumbbells close by on the floor, just note, you're gonna need to go and grab them. That was my bad and did not give you the heads up. Woo! Nice work, guys. One more side. And then we're gonna need two dumbbells. We're gonna go back to the triceps. All right, feet up, hands up, push that back to the back. Extend arms, opposite leg. You may find that you're able to get the arm and leg out a little bit further above round two. Bit more warmed up. Nice work, guys. So next move is a rolling tricep press. So we need a dumbbell in each hand. We're still down on the floor on our back. Good. So this is how the rolling tricep press looks. We start with our palms facing each other. We press straight up. Then behind the head. Drop the elbows back to the floor. Here we go. Press. Behind the head. Drop the elbows. Press. Behind the head. Drop those elbows. Keeping your back pushed down into the floor. Controlling the dumbbells as they come behind the head. Keeping those elbows tucked in. So we've got three ranges. So one, two, three. Nice, shake it out. Same thing, three more times. All right, you ready for round two? Push that back down. Press, behind the head, drop those elbows. Press, keep those elbows tucked in, don't let them flare out to the side. Bring those weights down behind the head, behind the ears as far as you can. Getting a nice stretch in that tricep. Got it. Nice. Two down, two go. Now, if you happen to have a workout bench at home, feel free to use it. You're going to be able to get more range in the arms. All right. Press. Behind the head. Drop those elbows. Keeping that core nice and tight. Slow it down if you need to. Take an extra pause at the top before you drop those dumbbells behind the head. Or feel free to drop down to a lighter weight. Good. Two seconds, guys. Come on. All right. We have one round left, and then we're going to stand back up, and we're going to go back to some, we're going to go into some bicep work, I should say. All right. Last 30 seconds. Press. Behind the head, drop those elbows. Make sure that core is nice and tight. Make sure those elbows are tucked in. Last round, we have 10 seconds to stand up and grab two dumbbells for me. We're gonna start with a hammer curl. So palms are gonna face inward. You got it, guys, come on up. Grab a quick drink if you need to. Two dumbbells for me. Palms are going to face the legs. So bring the end of the bicep or bring the end of the dumbbell up towards the shoulder. Can't talk. Keeping your abs nice and tight and shoulders are locked into place. Do not swing the dumbbells up. I want you to control on the way up and on the way down. If you need to make it easier, alternate or drop down to a lighter weight. We got five seconds, and I'm gonna change the hand position. Good, so round two, bicep curls. I just want you to flip your hands up. We'll come all the way up to the shoulder, all the way back down. All the way up, all the way down. Palms face up on round two. Abs are still nice and tight, shoulders down and relaxed. Keeping that upper arm glued to the rib cage. You can keep your feet side by side. You can stay here on your feet. Whatever helps you keep this nice tall posture. We have 10 seconds left, guys. We're gonna do each one one more time. 
Make sure we're only moving through the elbows. We're not swinging the dumbbells up. Abs are nice and tight. Alternate if you need to, guys. Whatever you gotta do to finish off these 30 seconds. But we're gonna finish with shoulders next. And we only need one dumbbell. We're gonna do a left side, then a right side. We're gonna go into some rotational shoulder press. And two.
And then we're gonna simply reverse it. So I want you to interlace your fingers, flip your hands, and I want you to think of pushing those shoulder blades apart. See how much you can separate them. And then we're gonna do each move one more time. So bring the hands back behind the back, open up through that chest, get that chest out as far as you can for me. 